Now, I know what you're thinking. What happened all the times you said you did not want to get a third gen? So, hear me out. Obviously, the last truck ended up selling that truck just because I did want to get something four wheel drive. Just because I find myself wanting to do a lot of, pardon my French, but sketchy shit on the trails. Now, two wheel drive hauled ass with the locker, but to do what I want to do, I really needed that four wheel drive. And of course, I do love second gens. It's my favorite platform out of all Tacomas. So I wanted to stick with the second gen, but around where I live, for the price that I wanted to pay for a second gen, you could find one. Um, not really built, mostly stock. Um, upwards of like 20, 20 plus thousand. And then they're all at least like 150,000 miles and up. And that's for like the clean body ones, you know? It's, it's always a trade-off. If they're not clean, you know, then they have no mileage. And if they have high mileage and they're clean body, so it's just, it's just whatever you want to take a gamble with, I guess, you know? But I did end up finding this one for a pretty good price, honestly, for a third gen four wheel drive. Um, local to me, I was getting ready on giving up, but ended up finding this one. Um, if you didn't know already, I did have a, um, a deposit on a 2023 TRD off-road. And I was pretty set on that, but um, I'm sure a lot of you can understand, you know, the first time buying a car isn't always the sweetest thing. Um, if you didn't know, I am currently in school. Um, I'm only working part-time right now outside of that just because I don't want to have a job dictate my life. And that's why I changed directions with that new truck because, you know, $47,000, not, not exactly the cheapest first car, you know, uh, when you're buying one at least. So I just didn't want to have to pick up more hours, you know, just to like slave away to make that payment every month, you know, because it wasn't going to be, the APR wasn't going to be pretty, you know, my first time buying a, a car, brand new one, you know, I've had credit for maybe a year and a half, two years. So it wasn't going to be smooth. But either way, we are here now with my brand new truck. Uh, this is a 2021 SR5. It is a four wheel drive, as I mentioned already, in a double cab short bed. Beautiful. Now I have done some small things to it so far. Um, when I originally had got this truck, I've had it for about, let's see, about, about a month month and some change i've had this truck now and uh when i got it, it was your typical bone stock sr5 you know it had the sr5 grill with the chrome around it um just the stock sr5 headlights uh, no drls um, stock fogs uh, no tint um, tail lights as well they were just the full red ones and then yeah pretty, pretty much completely stock so i'm just gonna do a little walk around today just telling you guys what i've done so far um, I have a lot of things planned for this new year to get this where it needs to be so I can actually wheel it and then yeah we'll just go from there. So before I even got home from the dealership I went to a friend's house, pulled off the air dam right away because I did not want that on there. I also slapped on this off-road grill insert, pretty neat. Definitely looks a lot better than that, that SR5 grill. I did debate keeping the grill and like blacking out the chrome around it but uh, another time maybe if I switch back to it. Um, suspension, everything is still stock right now. Um, I didn't want to rush too much into building this thing just because if you didn't know my last truck, I was getting about 10 miles per gallon with that. Um, it was on 35s, uh, steel bumpers front and rear, uh, stock gears. So that's the reason why I was getting such, such low mileage on that. And I was driving how I want to, you know, not being, um, What's the word? I don't know, just not driving slow, I guess, and just being moderative. Like, I just drive how I want. So that's why probably the gas mileage got so bad on that one. But this one right now, I wanna say I'm getting like 
18 to 20 around town. So that's definitely a life changer for me right now. I've never, I've always had a truck. And then with this last one, I've had it for about three years before I sold it. So this one's definitely a, a change. Now these tires are smaller than the stock off-road tires. They're 245s, I believe. Um, 245s, I forgot what the middle number is. It's on a 16 though. You can see they're pretty small, but helps out a lot for gas mileage. And then the ride's smooth. Rides like a car for now until I lift it. So definitely having fun with that. Um, I'm not too positive which direction I want to go with the lift yet. Um, I've been thinking about that for a while now. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to make any uh, raft decisions. Take my time with this one. Do everything right. I learned a lot with that old truck. Uh, what to do, what not to do. So I gave myself some advice. I'm just going to be patient, you know, do my homework, find what I like, find what I don't like, and build this exactly how I want to be built the first time. You know, buy once, cry once. Anyways, back to the truck itself. The lighting, I did change the headlights. These are the Alpharex Pro Series headlights. It's the Tacoma Beast collaboration. See the logo right there. Now I like these headlights. They aren't projectors, they're just regular LEDs. But I like them because they resemble the uh, the premium Tacoma headlights from Toyota. So they have the same activation feature, as all the Alphrax headlights, and that's the DRLs. Now I always love this OEM look from the headlights on the stock uh, Coleman's or Premiums. So I really liked the look of these. I was gonna pick up a set of OEM ones, but I believe they're like 700 bucks for a single headlight. So I was like, oh, I'll save some money. Now I even bought these um, Facebook Marketplace. I think they're like 500 bucks, practically brand new. So definitely a steal on my end. Um, I can't complain about them so far. I really like them. These are the, not the clear, I think they're They might be the regular black versions. So I'm not too positive on all the third gen parts yet, so. so not for the fog, as I am running my Baja Design squadrons again. Um, I ran the white lens for a little bit, but I went on a run for the first time with this one in the uh, rain, fog, and then it was dark. And it just wasn't cutting it, so I had to go back to those ambers just because. They just cut through the weather a bit better where I'm at. Now, obviously this thing is tinted. So this is the first thing I did to it. Cannot drive in a fish bowl. If you're curious, these back two doors, as long as the back window, I did 5%. Passenger and driver front, I did 15. Windshield is at a 50%. I think that's the perfect mix in my opinion. Plenty of privacy, helps block the heat out. Not too, too dark on the windshield, so it's not, you know, drawing attention from the police, but perfect in my opinion. Now I did end up switching these tail lights out. I ended up grabbing a set of the off-road tails from my friend. So that's how those look. Basic, but better than those, those red tail lights. Now, I did get an exhaust for this as well. Um, ever since I got it, I was looking at the MBRP um, exhaust for the, the third gens. And I was debating on either getting the, the full, you know, the full bed exit, you know, at the back of the back of the truck or the turndown. And now I had a turndown on my last truck and that muffler was pretty aggressive, you know? And it was an axle dump, so it kind of drove a little bit on the freeway but I've never had a full exhaust system. Like I mentioned previously in my other videos, I've always had a muffler welded onto the stock piping. I've never had a full cat back. So I ended up picking one up from my friend for, uh, I think it was like 50 bucks. Um, it's used, but you know, it's, it's, it's checked out. I looked at it, it's all, it's all clean. So it works fine. So I picked that up and it was the turn down. So let's start it. Here, how it sounds. It's a little cold out here, so it'll probably be good for some sound. This truck is kind of warm already, so 
So my start wasn't so loud. Do some baby revs here. I want to make anybody mad. Maybe I'll include some driving clips. Yeah. That's how that sounds. I might switch to something else down the road, but 50 bucks couldn't. Buy. I do plan on getting the um, SMB air intake. So I'll change the sound a little bit, probably make it a little louder. But for now, that's how the exhaust sounds. I think that's pretty much it I've done so far. Um, still pretty stock. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to rush anything. I'm enjoy the gas mileage while I can. Get ahead on some payments and then probably start spending some money on this thing. Um, where I live right now, most of the trails are closed just because technically it's snow season, but we don't have any snow yet, so all the trails are closed. Just because they don't want them getting all redded out from the rain, people just sending it through with the mud and stuff. So I have some time before I can even wield this thing. Um, I did take it out once. Uh, there was no snow, it was a light trail. Um, it was just dirt, a little muddy, and it did great, honestly, on street tires, as small as those are, too. So it was pretty, pretty neat seeing that. Um, first time using four-wheel drive, too, so that was that was pretty neat. Um, yeah. The only thing is just the ground clearance. Like, I want to wheel this thing, because I know I can do it, because it's four-wheel drive, but... This thing is so low to the ground. And then obviously the street tires. Like I, I aired down when I went. And that's probably why I got up everything so fine. But I don't know. I'm gonna get slide with this one for sure. Just because I plan on really really this one. More than the, the old one. The plan is maybe to do full bumpers in the rear and the front. Um, I was probably thinking tube versus plate like the other truck. But like I said, it's all up in the air right now. I'm not trying to make any decisions too quick. Um, I just want to enjoy it where it's at. That's the problem I think a lot of guys face. Nowadays, it's just like they spend, you know, 30, 40 grand in the truck and then instantly go out and fucking max out credit cards to buy parts for them. And it's just like, I get it. I, I dealt with the same thing. I was excited too. But it's like, be smart about it, you know? That's just me, my opinion. But yeah, so far I'm loving this thing, you know? I mean, it's just crazy how I went from not wanting a third gen to selling my truck. Not I didn't sell my truck to get a third gen, but I just sold it for four wheel drive. I do gotta clean those seats. So I bought it. It's a used truck. I didn't buy this new. But. Shout out to last feet, one that. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, it has everything I need. You know, it has the CarPlay. It has um, a sensor in the front, obviously. Um, cruise control, you know, all this kind of tech stuff. Nothing over the top. Um, another reason I didn't want to go with the off-road is because like with the last truck, I cut up a lot. And eventually I'll plan to do it with this one. Um, just for the bumpers and then Maybe if I down the road, we'll see. But um, one of my close friends, he has an off-road and he has steel bumpers in the front and the rear and he can't use any of his sensors now. Besides the one in the front grill, he can't use any of them because they don't read through steel. So his uh, blind cell monitors don't work, parking sensors in the rear don't work. And this is like, why am I gonna spend, you know, another 15, 16, 70 thousand dollars over uh, this use us for five cost to get an off-road just to cut it up and not get to use the tech features that it comes with you know and it's like simple it's like they'll cut your truck up. okay then like i don't know i like i just i don't know i want to cut mine up just to get buffers on it and then like i said plan your trim for more more clearance and a wheeling so that's just personal preference i guess if you want to spend that money for the off-road when you do get more options you get the locker and then the crawl control stuff like that but I don't know. Worst case scenario, I'll add a locker down the road. They're not that expensive. I do have my ARB compressor still. 
so eventually I could hook that up to the locker and control it like that, but like I said, it's all stuff for the future. Just gonna enjoy this how it is for the moment. Live in the moment. I think that's pretty much it for me today. Just wanted to hop on here and show you guys the new truck. Uh, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, New Year's. Hope this year brings many blessings to you guys like it has for me so far. It's gonna be a good year, I'm excited for it. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day.